What's good, my boys? All right, so as you can see on the screen and the title and the thumbnail, we got our first look on the 2K23 Builder. You know what I'm saying? We got a little leak. We got a little joint from NBA 2K23, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, man. So I'm bringing y'all this video just to show y'all, to give y'all a heads up. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? I'm going to start giving y'all some 2K23 news, some content, because I want the actual stuff. I don't want no rumors. You feel me? So this is the first look on the builder, bro. Um, as you can see, this is the WNBA. So we can't really go ahead and base the, you know what I'm saying, the my career builder, the, the builder that we all play based on this. Look at the stats. We're gonna have to boost them stats up a little bit, but we can we can we can make assumptions, we can make educated guesses. But as you can see on the left, there's some new things that we got going on over here, man. And before anyone says anything, bro, people were saying it's fake, this and that, because of Hall of Fame badges. But Hall of Fame badges are back. I thought they was gone as well, but they're clearly back. And I think Mike Wing did tweet. Uh, I don't see it anywhere. No reply. Um, I don't see, bro. So let's break this builder down. See what we see. And I'm actually going to go to 2K22, the WNBA, and look at the stats and compare it to this builder so we can really see, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. As you can see, the first things that's new, player boost and team boost. As y'all know, if y'all don't know, in 2K23, the team takeover booster is totally different. The mechanics of the team takeover is totally different. Everybody got to contribute. Okay, so team boost, I'm thinking that's like the takeover perks, but it's for the team. That's what I'm thinking. Because as you can see, this accelerator and extender, we know those perks from 2K22. You know what I'm saying? Extender extends the length of the takeover when you activate it and accelerate it, gets it faster. Now, I don't know what this helping hand of resist resilience would be. Maybe resilience is, am I guessing, is, um, it's either, it's probably, um, how could I say it, like, say if you get a turnover, you ain't gonna lose so much takeover, you know what I'm saying, compared, if you have resilience, compared if you don't have resilience, you get what I'm saying, I forgot what perk that's called in the game, of uh, uh, 22, Cause I know there's a perk like that, but who uses that, bro? You know what I'm saying? You either gonna use accelerator or juice. Helping hand, maybe if boosting other people's takeover, maybe. My guess, but we don't even know if team boost is really just for takeovers. It could be like boosting stats. We don't know. Um. So I. I really don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking, and I see player boost as well with a rocket ship. And there's only one player boost. It's only one player boost. Why there's four team boosts? So, I don't know how the player boost going to work. Maybe it might be, it's a rocket ship going up. Maybe it's some type of takeover booster. I'm not sure. Uh, game changer play the w online and became become a game changer now I don't, I don't know this is only wnba no one knows anything yet but my guess is there's going to be some type of game changer maybe that's like a grand badge from 2k17 and you gotta play online to get the grand badge maybe it's called game changer now hey i don't know i don't know you can see on the top, the, the takeovers are the same, advanced gathers. They probably got it switched up to four categories in each one. I mean, all the different takeovers are four different uh, type of takeovers, which is fine. I'm, I have no problem with that. Um, Let's look at some of the comments.
bro, if you play WNBA, bro, you're just you're just a sweat, bro. Like I played it a few times. It's just like it's just, bro. It's just um all it is is AIs, bro. If you want me to play the WNBA, we need some matchmaking three v three so I can go against other females, Hoopers too, real people. You know what I'm saying? And I can drop them off. But when I've been playing. It was just all AIs, bro. No one's gonna play WNBA, bro. If you look at the stats over here, man, we can see that this is like a two-way slashing playmaker. Now, this WMEA, we can't base these stats on the league, you feel me? Because these are really going to be all boosted, if you really think about it. Okay. But we can make some assumptions, and we can see tendencies and stuff like that. You can clearly see this is a playmaking slasher. The slashing is high. The three-pointer is very below average. And you got great playmaking. As you know, ball handling at 92, you can get you can get like Steph Curry dribble moves. You can get Kyrie Irving. People like that. So this is elite dribble moves at 92. Defense is trash. Physical is height. Now we don't see the height. We don't see no height, no nothing. We don't see no wingspan. They, they don't even show the badge counts. I know they did the, we all know they're doing the badge system different. So maybe, so maybe uh that's what they got to do with core badges. You know what I'm saying? Once you get your core badge, then we can see the badges you can get. But what's the point of showing the badges over here if it's in the game? So I don't know if this really, we can really base this builder because why is it showing badges anyway, bro? If we if we can even like mess with the stats and change, you know what I'm saying? But we can look, you know what I'm saying? At the stats, bro. I very I really, really think the build is gonna be very, very similar to 22. Next gen. Be able to custom and they said they want the people to be able to do like everything, bro. But I feel like it's gonna be toned down a little bit this year. Saying not every bill's gonna have 92 driver dunk with an 88 three pointer with an 88 ball handle or a 90 ball handle, um, and with a 90 perimeter defense. I don't think that's gonna be in the game. I feel like you're gonna be able to get like a 92 driver dunk and maybe like a 90, uh, maybe a 90, uh, two ball handle, but your three pointer may be like a 83 or something. Or 80. You get what I'm saying? Your defense may be mid-80s as well. In my opinion, that should be how the builder is. You know what I'm saying? If I got maxed out finishing and maxed out playmaking, I should not be able to get maxed out shooting. I shouldn't be able to get maxed out defense. I should be able to have one of those other two categories high. You get what I'm saying? Say if I want finishing, playmaking, like my main two attributes, and then shooting my third main. That should be like mid-80s or lower 80s, and the defense should be right where that level is or a little bit below. You know what I'm saying? That That's just my opinion. 25 driving down, 87 driving layup. Can't really go based off this, man. But if the builds are like this, say like the driving dunk is higher. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, what 2K do, 2K doesn't make the most overpowered demigod build and show us the build. You know what I'm saying? The most overpowered build with the best. You can put the stats everywhere, bro. They're not going to, you know what I'm saying? We can't see that in the start until we get into the game. You get what I'm saying? Until people start start playing with the game, you know what I'm saying? So you could probably get that three pointer higher in the builder. Way higher. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to 2K23. I mean 2K22 WNBA and look at the builder. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna look at the builder and we're gonna compare it. You get what I'm saying? So we can kinda give us a little little bit of, you know what I'm saying? So we can see a little bit what the joint looking like. Go to the A's. 
Three new build. Whoa, so close. Let's go point guard left. Ball queen. All right, look. This is a slash and playmaker right here, man. Now, as you can see, look at the stats. Look how the stats are so much than this right here. This is what I'm saying. I think the stats are toned down this year. And I think that's a W because this is kind of overpowered, bro. Like, this build literally can do everything. Now, it didn't give me no height or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It didn't give me no height, but let's just say it's a six. Let's just, it's a WNBA anyway, bro. Um, slash and playmaker. All right. So, 95 driving layup compared to the 87 driving layup. You got the 78 three pointer to the 69. So that's basic. Well, this is basically 10 stats. Ball handle lower 96 to a 92. Defense is in the 60s for real. This high 70s. Speed is 99, 98. You get what I'm saying? And if we click on it, oh, here's the height. Here's the height. So if we go higher, three pointer goes up. What if we go like six three or six two is the highest. This build a weird. <laughs> um, we'll just stay at five eight since that was the. Oh, what was the default joint they gave me? Was it like five eight? Um. Now, mind you, we can't just. This is not the build right here. You know what I'm saying? For the ones who don't play next gen, that don't have no clue on next gen, this is not the build right here, man. You get what I'm saying? You gotta change the attributes up. So I'm gonna. But why is she so close? Or maybe it is the build. Maybe uh, WNBA is different. I never played this mode before. I never played this mode before, so I guess that is the stats. But if we compare, so what I think for our builder, man, for the real builder, not the WNBA, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? If you look at this right here, right? Look at this stats right here. Feel me? And look at these stats. It's very, 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 very toned down. You get what I'm saying? And I like that. It needs to be toned down because it's kind of that's kind of overpowered how builds can get 99 stats, 96 stats. Five five ten play shots having 99. Three pointer, 99 mid range, 99 passing, 99 ball handle, 99 speed with ball, 99 speed. Like, bro, that's kind of that's kind of too much, bro. That's kind of ridiculous. Even though all they can do is shoot and dribble, but that's all they need to do. They got teammates to play defense and grab boards for them. You get what I'm saying? So it's overpowered, bro. Those play no play shots are overpowered, bro. Those 5'8 should should be fast. They should be the fastest builds in the game. But if I if I'm being realistic, if we're being realistic, if they going short, they three pointers shouldn't be that high. If anything, the three pointers should go lower. Because if you think about it, a shorter, they're gonna be going against 6'9, 6'10, 6'6, 6'5 players. They shouldn't be able to shoot over them, bro. In the 5'8, 5'9. They shouldn't be able to shoot over them, bro. You get what I'm saying? All right. So, so if we look at this stats right here, it's very toned down compared to these stats right here in WNBA. So if we go to, so if we go to the building, right? In 22 next year, I really, really believe we're going to have almost the same exact builder, but it's going to be toned down stats. 
You get what I'm saying? I really think. So this this build right here is a glitch build. You know what I'm saying? This is a standard glitch PG build right here, man. So if you look at these stats right here, bro. Right. Look at these stats. You get the 92 ball handle, 93-3, 85 driving dunk, 86 perimeter defense, 90 steal, 92 excel. Now the vert not the vert is a little too low, bro. The vert is a little too low. Now what would y'all think if these type of builds are in 2K23, bro? For a guard. In my opinion, I wouldn't like it. The defense is okay, but I wouldn't like that slashing. I would like to see that slashing just a little bit lower, bro. You get what I'm saying? I would like that slashing be a little bit lower. The defense is fine. Maybe a little bit less uh, perimeter defense. You get what I'm saying? But I think like a standard point guard, I feel like those shooting and playmaking stats is where the where the main PG should be at. You get what I'm saying? Like if you make a PG build, like the best PG build should be something like this, bro. 93 three pointer, 92 bar. Now, of course, if you go like six one with the shortest wingspan, yeah, I think you should have a higher three pointer, but your slashing should be way less, way less. If you're if you're under, bro, if you're under. Bro, I say if you're under six foot, you should not have you should not have a driving dunk over an eighty. Or or unless unless you are a typical unless you're actually a long arm slasher. If you got short ass arms, just your your dunk should not go over an eighty, bro. If you're like you know what I'm saying? 6'3 and under, bro. If you got the shortest wingspan, your dunking should not be over 80, bro. But if you got the longest and you got some vert, okay. So how y'all feeling? You know what I'm saying? This is a quick little video. Just showing y'all some stats, showing y'all the new builder, showing y'all dummy and big builder. So when new more news come out about this game, just know I'll be posting it. You get what I'm saying? So y'all boys. It's been Trey, man. Make sure y'all tune in to the streams. When 2K23 come out, make sure you, you know what I'm saying? If you're watching this right now, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well, man. How y'all boy get to 3K before 23 come out? I've been grinding, streaming all the time. You know what I'm saying? Been trying to get there. I, mm, I might get there before 23, but I'm not sure. I might get there like kind of right before 23 come out. All right. Appreciate y'all boys tuning in, man. More news coming. Hey, man. We out of here, bro. Peace.